previous video we walked downstream. In this one we'll go the other way, from the Toomble Shopping Centre up towards Shore Road. Toomble is our major local shopping centre which sometimes gets some flooding from the creek. On this Sunday however the water just kept rising and rising. People were evacuated, all the parking went under and the recently refurbished mall was flooded and left in chaos. From the northern bus terminal on Sandgate Road, all the top end parking is completely covered and this new brown sea just engulfs this enormous building. Out at the front the car park sales try to rather wanly look nautical. Kedron Brook comes charging out on the Sandgate Road, runs deep under the airport link pylons, creating wide areas of collateral damage adjacent. Just across Sandgate Road in Little Ross Park, the kids' BMX track is submerged. Water angrily tries to knock over signposts. This is the railway. Water eagerly heading up Parkland Street to flood the basement. Rushing up past the units with no power. Discussing our words. In Toomble Station, trains are parked as the entire system shuts down. Building sites fill with water and the flood starts to creep up into people's backyards. On the upstream side of the railway, the carnage continues with the strange sight and sound of a musical lamppost desperately fighting the tunnel. Across in Kalinga Park, where the ibis were recently foraging, they are now deep underwater, and lower level houses are going under too. This is the highest point of the park, past the flats, north of the brook. The main section of the creek, really angry over there. That flotsam must be going by at at least 20 or 30 k's an hour. The bottom of Toomble Terrace is a really big pond. Creek coming rushing in over footpaths. There's a footbridge battling to stay upright. Massive bar wave building up there. The bottom end of Turnbull Terrace and another absolute deluge. The park area west of Hampson Terrace. And no through road? Really? Jaffa and I slogged our way up the hill and were treated with this view of the city. And given that we had 45 mils in 20 minutes, even Karoo Street looked pretty dangerous. Over this week, our property got 914 millimetres. No wonder the lawn was a dam and the retaining wall was squirting. The drain of Karoo Street absolutely gushing down to the creek. And that which is usually a bit of riverine bush, now just brown water. 
Just amazing. By the afternoon, a large chunk of the slope had set off down into the water. Recall how the New Street Bridge looked on Saturday? Well, this was it on Sunday. That is where the footbridge usually is. Hewitt Street properties going under, quite unprecedented. An apocalyptic view out over Shaw Fields, this is what it was like on Monday. And at the end, that's the Monday view, and this is the Sunday view. That used to be Shaw Road. No sign of the bridge over Crazy Street Creek. What? <laughs> Clubhouse at least halfway underwater. Swallows swooping happily over the new lake. Crocodiles in the river. A well festooned shore park the morning after. struggle to find their bike. Drone view of the extensive damage to Shaw Road at the bridge. The fence by the car park has been stripped off its posts while well, having flattened them first. And then as the flood has carried on, the wire off the fence has been left in this enormous great roll of debris heading out across the fields. From the rolled up fence to the savaged clubhouse, the shore sports fields are looking pretty sad after being underwater for two days. Still, the birds are happy. It's back to looking pretty much like a mud flat. Kid run book bridge over there, go and have a look just now. The tracks of hundreds of desperate earthworms on the sand and trees and grasses absolutely flattened or snapped off. Well manicured roots are turned into chaotic artworks. This is the uh, top end of Kalinga Park, the big footbridge the morning after absolutely subsumed in debris. A lot of the infrastructure looking pretty sad. And along to the New Street footbridge with its own collection of shattered vegetation. By Monday morning there are skips and piles of ruined possessions along the footpaths. At the bottom of Toomble Terrace the bridge is a bit full and the playground has been wrecked in Kalinga Park. Jetsam indicates this has been higher than the infamous 1974 flood in the north of the brook suffering great erosion and I can hardly reach the Jetsam along Digger's Drive. 
In some instances, infrastructure like these railings are designed to snap over in a flood. Oof, more trees over. Uh, you can see those railings on the far footbridge over there. They've all gone down as they're meant to. But there's other much less welcome damage as the footpath is scoured out underneath. A lot of trees and infrastructure looking particularly sad. As well as this embankment on the railway suffering an enormous cutout. At the side of the path, a whole new channel has been dug out and filled with water. Many different services are disrupted, and where the flood waters are forced through narrow spaces, they intensify, here tossing around huge slabs and sleepers like toys. Developers promise they'll leave grounds as they were, but generally only cover their rubble with topsoil, which disappears in the floods concrete walkways flipped aside or disappearing under piles of rubble. In our local supermarket the meat and dairy shelves are a bit empty, eerily familiar for a Zimbabwean. But out there worse is happening. The Brisbane CBD goes under again. Huge chunks of debris come down the river or threaten to. The remains of lives pile up against the ferry terminals major roads are cut and personal tragedy spreads. Across the border in Lismore, the flood raced up to two meters higher than ever before, stranding young families and others on their roofs. This kicked off a huge rescue effort, but still, lives were lost as the elderly and others were left behind. Just uh, that's from the chopper. Enough now. These are extraordinary events and require some extraordinary response, not just to clean up the mud, but our whole act as humanity. Read the IPCC 6th Assessment Report, issued yesterday if you need any convincing.